And uh, I'm now delighted to have with me Stuart Robinson from City Beat, who's going to be a Master of Ceremonies here in, in Wallace Park in Lisburn today. Um, Stuart, this is the second heat in the uh, City Beat Young Star search this year. It is indeed. It's the second of uh, 16. And uh, I must say, I'm always worried about the, the outside events we do because they really are always going to hinge on the weather and, and today as you can see it's a glorious day in Wallace Park so uh, thankfully the weather's been kind to us today. And uh, just tell us about the success of it last year. Yeah I mean this is now the, the fourth year we've run this on, on City Beat. Every year we find uh, probably in no small part to the success of a lot of the, the, the reality shows on, on TV. Our event keeps getting bigger and bigger. We get more people coming in for it every year. We get more votes. We get more hits on the website. And uh, every year it just keeps getting uh, bigger and bigger. And, uh, and this year we're very excited because we've added on an extra category as well in the upper age bracket. So we're now, uh, we're now looking forward to hearing a lot of young adults on stage aged 17 to 25 as well this year. So all in all, it keeps getting bigger every year. Just run through the various categories that there are then. Yeah, there's a, there's a small category for the little ones. So that's pretty much primary school children, 8 through to 12. Then we have uh, an intermediate category from 13 to 16. And as I said, there's also a new category for the first time this year for 17 plus. So three categories in total and uh, a chance to record their very own CD in every single category. And I mean, it must uh, take a lot of guts to get up on the stage here. It does. I mean, that's the thing we find. Years ago, uh, before the reality TV boom and before X Factor, kids, young people, trying to get them up to, to, to perform and do this sort of thing in front of people was a big task. But now they see it on their TV every Saturday night uh, and they're happy to get up and give it a go. But you're right, it does take a, a lot of guts. And on a day like today with a big crowd here, particularly when there, there could be thousands of people looking back at you. So very brave, especially for the wee ones, as, as I say, some kids as young as eight getting up on this stage today. Well, what's the state of, I know this is only a second heat this year, but judging over the last three or four years, what's the standard like? It's very good. And again, that's the other thing that keeps getting better every year we would look back on previous winners and we think, you know what, we've actually got a better winner this year. And just when we think that, you know, that, that we've seen all the talent there is to see in Northern Ireland, um, we, we meet more fabulous young singers. And, and, and we've already had the additions this year, so we've, we've sort of seen the, the quality. And I know from speaking to the judges, there's around a dozen they're very excited about. And more details, of course, from your own website, just if you're on that past us. Absolutely, of course, every Monday in the Belfast Telegraph, you can get all the latest uh, Young Star Search news, pictures, gossip, and on our very own website as well, citybeat.co.uk. Uh, everything is there, including where we're going to be next, and as I said, 16 events in total. This is only the second one today, so a lot more to come. And when's the grand final? The grand final is going to be towards the end of August, and that'll be staged in Castle Court in the city centre. That's going to be over a period of one week uh, of uh, elimination every single day so things by that point will be nerve-wracking and, and extremely tense. Great, well, Stuart, thanks for chatting with us and have a great time here in Lisburn today. Thank you. Thank you, Gary.